is going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones as you can see here we have our s22 ultra and samsung finally just released android 13 beta for the s22 series and we have it installed right here so having said that it is a beta software if you want to hop on it you can go into samsung member services and take advantage of it and enroll again it's not st stable and you can see that warning right here that would traditionally pop up reminding you of such so again make sure you back up your important data if you decide to utilize it but it is available so having said that right when you automatically launch it and use it it doesn't look entirely different than what it did on android 12 but when you actually look in the settings the alerts looked a little different in their own unique bubbles but the settings menu and the shortcut menu are all very similar to what they have looked like. If you actually hop into the actual settings menu and not the shortcuts in the quick panel, you can see, again, very similar to what you already had. This isn't a big design uh, improvement of what it was in the past, kind of like how 11 was to Android 12. 12 to 13 is not such a substantial um, visual difference. If you actually hop into the software update and you can see the prior version, and all the release notes. So let's go ahead and look at this really quick. Um, there is a quite extensive list, as you can see. Let's just talk through some of these really quick. And it is letting you know this is One UI 5, which is Android 13. Your Galaxy, your way, you have more choices for your color palette. Obviously, you're able now to get a few new options when you're setting everything up for those uh, material U looks and all that. It will improve all that. You have stack widgets on your home screen now. You can easily see who's calling to select a different background effect for each contact you want. You can get notifications only that you allow. So when you use the app for the first time, now you'll be asked all these new security features. You can now easily access the app notification controls. Choose which type of notification apps can send. Stay on top of reminders due today. Show and hide completed reminders. Choose the right view for reminders set a language for each app, edit the lock screen wallpaper collection, customize the spacebar row in Samsung keyboard only, so nothing good if you're using Gboard, improved sound and vibration settings, you have had reorganized menus to make it easier to find the sound and vibration options you need, extract text from any image or screen, um, Pixels have been able to do this for a while in addition to some other phones, but Samsung's now implemented that as well, Get suggestions based on text and images. Do more with your connected devices. Switch your view with a gesture. And what that means is you can switch from full screen to split screen views by swiping inward with two fingers from the left side, right side, or bottom up. Quickly open apps in split screen. Use several timers at once finally. You don't have to have just one going. More control over calendar event invites. Enhanced task bar, task bar for Samsung Dext. I'm not a big fan. I haven't used it regularly like a lot of people have, but people love Samsung Dex, and that is available here as well. New notification indicators for Dex, mini calendar index, and then better support for physical keyboards. More powerful search in my files, redesign digital well-being, and then Bigsby routines. If you guys use Bigsby, you have a couple of new options here as well. The bedtime mode has been moved into the routines. Choose modes based on your activity easier to discover preset routines, check running routines quickly, and more actions and conditions for your routines. Again, more personalization options here as well. Now you have the new emojis available, the new AR emoji stickers, more default stickers for the AR emoji, transparent backgrounds for AR emoji stickers, create video with two emojis together, use any picture as your emoji background, Add st art stickers to your Google Calendar, create stickers, new stickers, more way to edit GIFs, rearrange expression buttons, enter Kimoji directly from Samsung keyboards. In the next setting list here is where I think it gets a little more exciting for photos and video updates. You can now get help with Pro Mode. You'll have a help icon that'll appear. You have a histogram in Pro Mode now. Zoom more easily one-handed. The zoom bar has been condensed so you can zoom in or out further with a single swipe. Easily go back to photo mode. Add watermarks now to your pictures. That is a huge ask that finally has been implemented. Telephoto lens is now supported in food mode. All new look for stories if you use that. And choose filters more easily. You have little changes for Bigsby again here. It's supposed to be faster. And you can now answer calls, alarms, and timers without saying, hey, you know what first. 
Uh, again, an improvement. I don't know anyone personally that uses Bigsby, but if you're a fan, you have those improvements. And then more security updates as well. You can check your phone security status at a glance, get help in an emergency, integrate emergency contact list, get a warning before you share personal information and security and privacy information on websites. More accessibility options that we'll skim right over. And then additional changes, you have new layouts for, nap, for notifications, which is what we kind of touched on. It does look a little different here, but nothing crazy. You can screen calls before you answer. This is awesome. We know about how uh, Google Assistant works for this. So being able to have the calls be answered automatically to ask for a reason for your call built into the Samsung Dialer app is awesome. You can drag and drop bookmarks between folders, play sounds on your PC when linked to Windows, check your battery health, and you have more options for RAM Plus, which will now be turned off completely if you don't want to use it to take up storage. You can show app names in Apps Edge panel, so if you were going to swipe over and you have this, you can show names there as well. And then Galaxy Themes, there's some new downloaded themes you can use also. So again, on the day-to-day -day routine, just looking over everything, there is not a lot of change here to notice. Like you saw, you can go into some of these new mount, um, menu options, and a couple of these have obviously, obviously been improved, but nothing else great if you were just to go launch your apps and all that. Don't expect a huge visual overhaul. So yeah, if you guys want to see anything specifically that's updated, let me know in the comments down below. We'll do a separate video on that. I wanted to let you guys know this is out. You can now go download it, enroll your phone, and enjoy Android 13 beta on your S22 series. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.